All right, let's see. Johnny, nice. Sally, nice. Timmy, nice. Oh, Santa, what are you doing? Oh, oh, well, hello. I, I'm checking my naughty and nice list, of course, twice. Are we on it? Are we on it? Well, of course you are, and uh, you'll have to find out where you rank later. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Xbox. Okay. Bo and Jason, naughty. <laughs> That you're doing on purpose, sing like a sing on key. Talk to the girl that intimidates you. Pretend that you're brilliant and charming. I said, pretend that you're brilliant and charming. Hey! Oh man, if I don't care, man, told me, son. Like that band. Ooh. Welcome to our show. Later with Jason Sewell. Glad you're tuned in. Bo Count. Hey. What's up, man? Hey, I like that little slow, yeah. smooth. A slow roll sit. into the show. I think yeah. we need that because this show is going to be super high octane. You know, we're kind of post Thanksgiving, pre Christmas, right all the between. build up and anticipation Speaking to the holiday of build season. Up, I don't know if you knew this. Fun fact about this period in time <laughs> it is the busiest time of the year for plumbers. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, just, just context clues there, Thank but, you. but tip your local Thank uh, you. plumbing professional. She's a real beaut, Clark. Um, <laughs> yes, absolutely. We got a great show lined up for you. I cannot wait. We've got Santa here. That's wait, right, Santa. Santa? The man, the myth, the legend is joining us on tonight's show. I, I have not wait. been as nice as I had hoped. Oh, oh, find out if you're on. Uh, I think find we're, out. we're waiting to find out if we're on nice or Results naughty. will come. So results will come. We got Molly Ron here from Experience Fayetteville as well. Can't wait to visit with her about all things happening holiday season and beyond here in the great city of Fayetteville. We've got a music video from our very own later band joining us for the music video. They sound rocking and awesome as you've already heard. And then down there at our chef's table, we've got Aaron Rowe. Chef, what are we going to be putting together at the chef's table today? We're going to be using up those Thanksgiving leftovers, Jason, into my turkey and dumplings from my book, An Ozark Culinary History. Turkey and dumplings. Leftovers. It's it's the only leftovers of the year that I am, am excited about. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. And if Aaron Rowe is doing it, I know Chef's going to do it up right. So we've got to find out how that goes. It's all jam-packed into this episode, so stick around. All that fun is happening later. We're joined by Molly Ron down here. Molly, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for having me. It's yes. always a good time. Yes. Why did it take you so long to invite me back? I know, right? Well, I don't know. I don't know. A little <laughs> thing called a pandemic happened in the middle. I think we lost track of everything. But you're with Experience Fayetteville. What do you do there? I am, you know, I'm the CEO of Experience Fayetteville. Everything. So I just hurt a lot of cats. <laughs> Yeah, you're your really chief cat herder. Chief cat herder. Yes. Uh, for many folks who aren't familiar, what is Experience Fayetteville? Great question. And um, Experience Fayetteville is, in short, the destination marketing organization for the city. So yeah. our job is to um, bring about positive economic impact through tourism. Yes. We like to have a good time, throw fun events, sponsor fun events. Yeah, the city. certainly. And one of those fun uh, things that happens, you've got the shirt on for basketball season already. We're talking about basketball. I We're here. I am ready. So, yes. Yeah. Big, big fan of basketball, I'm assuming? Absolutely. And this season is going to be fantastic. And yeah. I will say, I wore this sweatshirt all last season, and we did really well. Yes. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, so I'm expecting another great So season. you're starting early. Starting early. Yeah. Let's do it. Bo, what do you think about basketball season? I mean, the magic is in the sweater the whole time. Like, it, you know, we can't keep leaning on the 90s. We got to seize the day and have a new uh, set of uh, commemorative glassware to, to keep. <laughs> You know, let's let's do it. I think and, and I think we I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna get there. And I think, I think you know, are. twenty years from now we're gonna be wearing sweaters and sweatshirts from this era of exactly. must bus basketball. Must bus. 
yeah, we're all on it. But you have other things happening as well. One thing I really wanted to talk to you about, because I've seen on social media Vanny. Vanny. you got to give me the scoop yes. on Vanny. We love Vanny. So Vanny is Experience Fayetteville's mobile visitor center. Yes. And it is a Mercedes Sprinter van that many of you have probably seen it around Fayetteville, around downtown. And it is um, branded like Experience Fayetteville, and we can take it to events. To, uh, activate it in the community, and it's a little mobile visitor experience. Yeah. And we can also take it on the road. Yeah. Does it got like a little mini Fayetteville inside of it? It, like... it, it does not have a little, <laughs> like, wouldn't that be awesome though if we'd res, like shrunk everything yes. in Fayetteville and put it you in like a, a model little, a of tiny Fayetteville. Walton Art Center, and, yes. like a tiny little, no, uh, but we do have information about Fayetteville in the van. <laughs> um, we do have, uh, it's uh, solar powered, which allows us to have a TV in the van. Right. And um, yeah, we take it around. It's a lot of fun. You can follow it on social media, hashtag Vanny. Hashtag and you drove it here from California? From or you made California, a trip California, I did not. My, my team did not, but picked it up out in California, drove it all the way back, and wow. it was really fun to just see people following along with the journey of where, where Vanny went. Okay, so that's one thing. Hashtag Vanny. Got to follow Hashtag that. Vanny. And then, of course, the square right now decorated beautifully for the holiday season. Yes. I know we've just kicked off and launched and um, turned on the lights. You turned on right? the lights. Thank you for everybody that came out for lighting night. Um, the square will stay uh, lit up through January 1st. Yeah. Uh, lights turn on at about 5 p.m. every night and are on until 1 a.m. What else is around the square? Because there's always kind of several activations that happen pretty consistently. Yep, What's lots happening of, this year? Lots of stuff going on. You may have heard of a bar called Pinpoint. Oh, yeah. On Block Street. Yes, yes. we love big Pinpoint fans. Um, they Their Christmas pop-up bar is back again, or holiday pop-up bar, yeah. rather, is back again this year. That's a great place to stop in. And then also, on the more family-friendly front, um, Walton Art Center, um, yes. right there on Dixon Street, and the Rose Garden has winter nights, I believe it's called. That's right, yeah. Yeah, Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. Yeah. What do you think about... Santa, the real Santa, making an appearance at Lighting of the Ozarks. Yes, you know, we were so lucky. He is, as you know, in high demand. Very Every high demand. community wants the real Santa. We yeah. actually got the real one, yeah. uh, and we're really thrilled. Yeah. And he's also going to be hanging out um, throughout the season. You can check those times. Yeah. You know, before you bundle up the kids and get so excited and bring the list and come down to the square, check out experiencefayetteville.com and look at the Santa schedule. Yeah. As you know, he is busy, lots of uh, commuting back and forth um, from I know. the North He's Pole. He's flying all over the place so right now. So check the schedule on experiencefayetteville.com. In fact, check it twice. <laughs> In fact, uh, very cute. That's Check right. it twice. And, um, you know, and he's also traveling in a carbon neutral way this oh, year. Oh, nice. So that's really exciting. That so. is very exciting. Of yeah. course, we love to hear that here in Fayetteville. Absolutely. Yeah. Molly, so you've mentioned your website. What about social media? How do Ooh, we find you yes, on social media? Yes, we are on the social medias. <laughs> Very exciting. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at Fayetteville AR. Yeah. Um, or Experience Fayetteville. I'm so. still looking forward to when you launch that TikTok and for you to do some uh, some TikTok videos you for know, us. You know, I just during yeah. basketball season, maybe, maybe that's so. you. Maybe so. Maybe that's yeah. you. All right, you got to check them out on all the social media, of course, their website. Molly, thanks for taking the time to hang out with us. Thank we you always so much. appreciate you. Yes. You're right here. You could just walk down. I know. I'm going to start just coming here you every should. day. You should. And Come hang down out. here all and hang out with yeah. us. Yes, you should hang out with us too. We got more fun, including talking to Santa. That's Woo! all coming later. Can you believe it? Santa is here for an interview. Santa, thanks so much for taking the time out of your busy well, schedule. Well, of course, Jason and Bo. That, thank you so much for having me. It's so good to see you all. Yes, I know. It's been, it's been a few years, I feel like, since uh, we've had the pleasure of visiting with you. It has, it has. But I've been following you and watching you. Oh, good. Not so much when you're sleeping. You snore a little too much for my taste there to turn the Jason volume yeah, down a I, bit. I don't blame you one bit for that, Santa. So. You got to tell us we're in the we're in the preparation phase for the big night. What's it like in the North Pole right now? Oh, you know, it's 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 what we call chaotic, but but it's but it's still a lot of fun. It's jolly chaos is what we like to say up yes. there. And, and we have elves running everywhere. Yeah. And if you're not careful, you'll trip over a few. But uh, but lots of things are getting done. Toys are being made and it's going to be a great season. And I can't wait. Santa, one of the things I love this holiday season is this book right here. I have the adventures of Dottie the elf. Are you familiar with this book? I sure Sure am. You know, reading books is one of my favorite things to do. Okay. And uh, and Christmas books are are by far better than any other book. No doubt. And this one was written right here in 
Fayetteville. Okay. By a local author, and all of the beautiful pictures in there also were drawn by a local author wow. right here in Fayetteville. I love so that. So it's very near and dear to my heart as well. Yes, so Brent Hale wrote this book, and Brian Gott provided the illustrations. Yes, this is absolutely. Awesome. Then they've done a fantastic job. It's a great book uh, that really kind of encourages children to, to not give up, to be themselves, and if they have something they want, to try hard and go after it. Hey, I like that. You know, that's a, that is a theme of my life, literally. Uh, can people pick up a copy of this book now? Yes, yeah, so actually, uh, it's it's available online, actually. Okay. They have right. a website, DottieTheElf.com, oh. or it's also at the Experience Fayetteville store, okay. because they've asked me to come and, and, and be a part of their beautiful parade, and, and I was so excited to do that. Yeah. And, and, and I'll get to sit on the square and talk to all the children this year. And, that it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. So I have to ask this question because this is kind of a debate in my house. First of all, what kind of cookies are truly your favorite? Oh, you know, the kind of cookies I like, there's two kinds I like the most. Okay. I like round and square. <laughs> oh, no, any cookie will do, but for me, a good Christmas cookie that looks just like my face is oh. probably my favorite. So you like a Santa-shaped cookie, any flavor? <laughs> any flavor. A nice sugar cookie would be great, but anything works for me, as All long right. as it's sweet and sitting out ready to go. Ready to go. I like that. And another thing that we do at our house is sometimes we leave treats out for reindeer. Absolutely. What yes. should we leave? You know the reindeer get hungry. They yeah. do, they do, and then and, and they like carrots. That's one of the, the one of the one of the best. It gives yeah. them the most energy. It's easy to feed them, so they don't nibble on your fingers. Right, as well. and they get so. to see in the dark, right? And that would carrots. Well, are of for? course, yes, it helps their eyesight, and it gives them lots of magic to fly. So yes, I would highly recommend leaving some carrots out for all the reindeer. Okay, that's a great great tip. Holiday gifts. We got to talk about this. Is there anything that is truly, um, you know, going to be the top? top one that you deliver around the globe oh, this year? You know, I see so many different things. Sure. Uh, and gifts come and go and they change. And, 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 and when I uh, first started years ago, you know, toy trucks, that was the thing. Okay, yeah. And now everybody wants video games to play like they're on a toy truck. <laughs> so, you know, it changes and it changes. <laughs> but my favorite thing to still send out is the simplistic toys yeah. that children love for years and years. That's right. You, you Socks. <laughs> Oh, that, that's what you get if you're on the naughty list, Bo. Oh. Socks. I thought I was on the nice list this whole Socks time. Socks and coal. Socks and coal. That's what's coming your way. So you. So I, I like that. Things that will last, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe that, that teddy bear or maybe a truck. You know, I like throwing it back to old school toys like you're talking about. I, you know, absolutely. And there's so many memories that can be made from those old toys. And, yeah. And, and children to cling to those for years to come. Yeah, certainly. Santa, if there's one thing you want to say to our viewing audience right now, we're in the holiday season. I know tempers can flare when you're headed to the store, when you're making food, you've got family coming over. What's some encouragement you would give uh, our audience? Well, I would tell you that, that sure, receiving a gift is great and all, but it pales in comparison to giving this time of year. So as you're out and about, find a way to, to be kind and give to someone else. That will be a gift to you that you can't match, I promise. You heard it from the man himself, Santa, giving sage words of advice. We appreciate you so much for taking the time. I know that you've got to get to the Fayetteville Square. You've got to fly off and go to other cities as well during this time of year. So thanks for hanging out with us in the studio well, today. Well, thank you for having me. It's so good to see you and, and, and be here again, and I can't wait to come back next time. Ah, we can't wait to have you again, Bo. Would you have this guy back? Oh, oh well, every year. I'm yeah. installing a chimney in the studio right now, so it's yes. just easier. You're working your way up the nice list right now. We hope you are too. Stay with us. We got more fun happening later. Celebrating 10 seasons all year long on Later with Jason Sewell. Our musical guest brought to you by Walton Art Center. Walton Art Center presenting the West Street Live series. Thinking about that day I met you The feeling when you smile Girl, you woke the sleeping man in me Made me want to stick around You make me want to slow
thousand voices tugging on my time But yours is all I want to hear Oh, give me refuge from this hectic life Cause only you make my mind clear You make me wanna We're down here at the chef's table with Chef Aaron Rowe, and we're going to be making something from your cookbook. Yes, we are. This is my cookbook, and Ozark Culinary History. We're making my dumplings. They go perfectly with leftover turkey or chicken. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, we're always looking for something to do with the leftovers. So <laughs> exactly. this is perfect. What are we doing? Who's you got, Gail you got... Brewer? Gail Brewer is the lady that I interviewed to get this dumpling recipe. Not all the recipes are originally from me. They're heirloom recipes that have been passed down over the past hundred years. So right. They're from the Ozarks. From the Ozarks. Yeah. Gail's a good. They're yes. so good. In fact, I don't think that she written this down until the book so oh. you know that's how my book is a lot of heirlooms well you know a lot of those recipes are passed down just orally from generation mm -hmm. to generation to generation so you finally got it on paper and people can make this at home to oh, yeah. pick up a copy of that book absolutely but what are we doing right here you're mixing it yeah, all together yeah. so I'm gonna like I'm gonna basically gonna crack an egg here and then I'm, we're gonna whisk it okay you know a good old or whisked you, egg would you like to whisk it I'll Jason whisk would that egg, be fun certainly, for you yes. while you're doing that something I'm going to go ahead and put some flour in here okay. now my book calls for about four cups but I'm going to do a smaller version because I just want to show just you about. guys yeah. is that, no, is that a about. metric pour yeah that is that's okay. a chef Aaron a Rose smidge she can just go. Now, if I'm teaching a cooking class, I'll usually measure, but you know how it is. But hey, on, little, on a TV show, on a late night show, you just, and you just also throw it all in the pot. A little baking powder. Baking yes. powder is rise. not baking soda, for those of you at Thank home. Thank you. You're so right. Mm. I have thrown away so many recipes of bad cookies because I've of that when I was 30. so many people in the kitchen. <laughs> Salt as well. Salt, of course. And then I'm going to kind of whisk the dry ingredients together. Okay. Right? It's so very simple, like Grandma used to make it. Yeah, like just a like wet Grandma dries, used to make it. Dry That's kind of right, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, exactly. So I've got some melted butter, some about butter. two tablespoons. Okay. And then I've got our egg. Thank you, Jason. You're welcome. Yeah, all whisked right. up and ready to go. And then I, a lot of times, will combine cream with water to make a, a milk consistency. That way I can keep that there. We just want enough to make, like, a pretty stiff dough. Okay. So basically, you just kind of have to gauge it as you go along. Now, the temperature that day, the humidity so is, can all have an impact on so that. Going back to what, this is heavy whipping cream, but with mm -hmm. water in mm -hmm. it, right? To kind of thin yeah, it out a little bit. Yeah, it thin it out. Because okay. a lot of times these days, you know, like having milk, it goes bad really quickly in your fridge. Especially if you're a single gal like me, you're not using a lot you of milk use a whole at gallon, home. Right? So, yeah. Half gallon. Now, I'm going to do the rest by hand. I have washed my hands, guys. Yeah. So I just wanted to get it's that all rest good. We're all friends Just like here. Grandma yeah. used to do it. Mm -hmm. So, you go yeah. for it. Yeah, exactly. what would uh, Gail Brewer think? Gail would probably approve, <laughs> honestly. That's right. Yeah. Jason, can you add a little bit more flour for me? Yes. I want it to be a little stiffer. Yeah, let's make it. Thank you. That's Ooh, perfect. Probably you're too good. much, but there you no, go. It's perfect, Jason. You're doing great. <laughs> As the, you roll your eyes over The basic there. thing with dough is that you can adjust it as you go along. Sure. You so, just keep making more until it's this giant mm -hmm. monster dough that takes monster over the Monster dough. Sink. And Bo, can you add a little bit more milk for me? Oh, okay. Yes, Perfect. I love that you're putting this us one, to work. This, this is the one? best. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. more? That's probably good for now. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. A <laughs> little bit. All so right. I'm what, channeling Gail. When Gail is told me it was more. Gail said. Is when does the protein come yeah, in? When you, okay, I was gonna say it was her ghost, but so she's main, still alive. The she main thing me. with making the soup is that you poach the chicken in a broth, right? Okay. But the idea is that you're gonna get this where it kind of comes together. Yeah, you keep listening. <laughs> I know. Are don't those look good? That? Yeah. So. Yeah, don't don't pay attention to me. Ignore me. Ignore here, the guy here, right? Yep. I'm just gonna figure out yeah. where all this works. No. No, I'm I'm hooking you up. 
Yeah. You got exactly. It. There, it's spoon. So okay, yeah. Basically, the idea on. is, let's say we take a little bit of this dumpling here. Okay. This is just the concept, so you guys can get that. Right, yeah. We'll look, yes. So we've got the dough where it basically kind of comes together. Yeah. It just barely sticks. Mm -hmm. I have a little washcloth here, but ultimately after that, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and slice it. You're going to pat it down by hand. Okay. And then slice it into your dumpling. So it's super... Let me move that just a little bit. But you see you can get kind of a dumpling like that. Okay, Once so nothing really for about kind of like this shape. Right, exactly. Do you ball it up or you leave it kind nope, of flat Nope, you just like kind that. of leave little squares okay. in here. And then, well, Bo, you already got into it. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of get these little dumplings. You drop it in the hot boiling broth with the chicken. And yeah. then over 15, 20 minutes, you have dumplings. Okay, that's So this it. is kind of, that's how you do it. That's yeah. easy. It mm. is easy. That's easy. And it's, you know, just kind of fun. And you, you have to kind of gauge it with the liquid to dry because sometimes you get more humidity. Like of in course. Your, like in your studio. Yeah, game. yeah, you know, the studio so it's is kind of like making a really quick biscuit. Yeah. And then you boil it. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to try? Oh, totally. Yes, we got more bowls. We can try this. Okay. Aaron, while we're doing that, mm -hmm. though, are you still doing the uh, culinary tours? Is that something that you still promote? Yes, I still do the tours, and I love doing them. So we do walking food tours of our downtown yeah. area so that I can help other chefs do what they love by bringing people there. Right. We have Asylum mm. Springs now, Rogers, okay. Bentonville, and um, also the Fayetteville Square. Yeah, you came by in, here. not too long ago and did, did I one did. in my neck of the woods. Yes, I did. Bill, let me feature him as pinpoint as my dessert stop at the end of the tour. It's oh, great. nice. What kind of desserts did you have? Bo? Liquid desserts. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Adult about. Adult desserts. And then we had some cookies from Savoy. Oh, nice. Yep. So, yes, yeah, so you can reach out to Aaron. Aaron, what's the best way for folks to get in contact if with you? If you want to find me, I'm on Facebook under Aaron Rowe or Chef Aaron Rowe. I also have a company called Ozark Culinary Tours. It's all listed on there. I've got three different pages. Yes, books. and she's got this cookbook right here, an Ozark Culinary History. <laughs> Aaron's everywhere. you got to check her out. Thanks for these turkey and dumplings. Do you the like leftovers. Them? Great use of the leftovers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. Stick around, folks. We've got more fun happening later. That's our show. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Make sure you find us out there on your social media platforms. Send us an email over at LaterWithJasonSewell.com. And we're going to get to try some of these amazing turkey and dumplings. Before we do that, we got to thank these amazing guests, including Molly Ron from Experience Fayetteville. And, of course, Chef Aaron Rowe for the dumplings. Absolutely. And how about that band, our later band, providing our music video tonight? Great stuff. And then... Santa came yes. all the way just for us. I know him. That's right. That's our show. We'll see you later, alligator. After all, crocodile. Let's try this, man. Yeah.